Now, from 41NBC Sports, it's time for Friday Night Football Scores and Highlights. You're in the end zone with Bill Shanks, Tucker Sargent, and Montez Allen. Thank you and good evening. Welcome to the end zone. I'm Bill Shanks from Sports Radio 931, WXKO, the superstations.com. Tonight, some cool weather in Middle Georgia signaled even more important region games as we round out October. Later, Tucker Sargent joins us for the Baldwin, I'm sorry, for the Washington County Southwest game. And then our FPD and Mountain Sales game is our game of the week. But let's start in Warner Robins with a great matchup as the Demons, ranked third in 5A, hosted the top rated team in 5A. The Ware County Gators. Warner Robins beat the Gators two years ago in the second round of the playoffs, but this year's bunch from Waycross has been much better. They have a dynamic offensive team led by quarterback Thomas Castellanos, who was primed to challenge a stingy Demons defense. Here we go to McConnell Talbert Stadium for the highlights. The Demon getting the crowd pumped up there. Ware County ball on their own 39 to watch this kid. Thomas Castellanos under pressure, and then look at that throw on the run. He's a prospect from Waycross. How about that? Complete. Then a few plays later on third down, Castellanos passes to Wilkins, and then they would have to go for a field goal. Henry Bates, good. I went to school with his uncle, by the way. 3 0, we're a county. Demons with the ball on their own 44. Jalen Addy back dumps it to Caleb Howard, and he goes all the way to the 45. Then change sides to the second quarter. Addy handoff. Malcolm Brown, look at that run. All the way to the Gators 11. Addy. Waits patiently and touchdown. DeAndre King, touchdown Demons. PAT made it 7 3. One of Robbins. Demons get it back. Addy decides to heave it. And it is caught by Davion Walker inside the 15 yard line. Then Addy, play action, decides to keep it on his own. Runs to the left. Can he make it? Yes. He got in there, touchdown Demons. Extra point made it 14 3 Warner Robins. Gators go to work now. Watch this kid, Castellanos. Can he play for Georgia tomorrow in Lexington? Holy cow, it's caught. James Daniels down near the 34. Backed up a bit, the Gators in the air. Castellanos, Raiden Kennedy, wide open to 23, and then Bates again, up and good again. One Robbins would be up now by eight points. Big special teams play here as the Gators block the punt. Ronnie Davis scoops it and scores. Touchdown, we're at county, but the Demons would hold on and win this one. What a game here. 22-19, the final Warner Robins. Demons now 6-1 on the year. They may be number one. Now to Perry as the Panthers hosted West Lawrence tonight, Region 4 Quad A game. Here we go, Panthers ball first on the Raiders 35. Lane Rucker hands off the Keel Kendrick. Watch this one run. Right side, touchdown Panthers. Nice and easy right there. Perry would go for two, why not? Stats say to go for two. Rucker to Curtis Head. He's in there for two points, eight nothing Panthers. Raiders now get it, they're knocking on the door with quarterback Bradley Wilson. Watch this big tall kid runs for his life. He's running and he heaves it and it's gonna be tipped and picked off by Cameron Marshall. And I thought, man, you gotta take a knee here. But he takes off and watch this run. He kind of guides his blockers and he's gonna go right down the sideline all the way to the 30, but they would call it back on a penalty and Wes Lawrence would get it back. Wilson then would try it again. This time he's gonna get the ball to James Fauston and watch this run. He's in, touchdown Wes Lawrence. How about that? PAT would be good. So it'd be eight to seven, the Perry Panthers out on top. Rucker again gets going shotgun now, looking back and he's going to be picked off by CJ Johnson. Wes Lawrence with a pick and he's inside the 20 after being tackled by Rucker. Wes Lawrence would have to go for a field goal, however. They would try it, and it's up and good. That made it 10-8. Raiders on on top. Now Perry in the second quarter. Rucker would get going again. The pass, and it's complete to Brantley Gibson down at the two-yard line. Rucker would then hand off to Kendrick. Again, number two, and he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Perry led 15 to 10 and a half. They would hold on to win it. 22 to 10 to final. Panthers now three and four. Play at West Side next Thursday night. To Gray now, Jones County hosted Ola in the Region 4 5A game. Let's get to some football. Ola's ball snapped to the quarterback. He's tackled 
and the ball is fumbled and Jones County recovers. A few plays later, the Greyhounds would get the ball and go to work. The quarterback, Keegan Baxter, to Malik Wooten. Good touchdown, Greyhounds. And they would be on the board and score the PAT to make it 7 0. Later on, Jones County gets it back. Baxter hands off Javius Bond, who would take off and go. Touchdown. PAT would make it 14 0. Greyhounds at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter now, Jones County with the ball. Baxter is going to again pass it and again heave it. And it's picked off this time. Terrell Powell will get it for Ola, and it will be Ola's ball. A couple plays later, ball snap. Micah Bell, who would fumble, and Freddie Felton would recover it and take off and score for the six points. The PAT would be tricked by our cameraman there. Jones County blocked it. It's Jones County 14 to six. A few plays later, then Jones County has the ball. Baxter's going to give it. He's going to get it to Andrew Carter and watch him go. He is gone. Complete sentence how about a 65 yard touchdown run for the Greyhounds. They are rolling up some points. PAT would be good to make it 21 to 6. Now the Greyhounds would be scared to death in this game as Ola would come back. But Greyhounds hold on and win it 38 35. Jones County remains undefeated in the region. They'll host Eagles Landing for a big region game next week. When we come back, Tucker has action from a big game in Sandersville. More as we continue on the end zone right after this. More highlights coming up on the end zone. Tonight's catered meal for the end zone crew provided by Zaxby's. Indescribably good chicken. Indescribably great support of our community.